All right, so I'm going to model one of these problems here for us so you can kind of see how to navigate the screen and what the problem is asking. But you're going to get an inequality. Here we have w is greater than 9, and we're going to graph those possible answers using our number line. So first step over here is double click on each box to set up your number line. So the key is center your number line around the number you need. We want 9, so we're going to put 9 in the middle, and then we're going to create the rest of our number line. Since we're dealing in positive numbers, it's going to count up going to the right. So you just double click on each box and then type in the number. Now we need to graph the inequality. So in this case, we want greater than 9. So we don't want to be equal to 9. We just want greater than 9. So we're going to use an open circle. So we drag up an open circle. And then we want numbers that are greater than 9. Well, 10, 11, 12, those kind of numbers are all greater than 9. So I want to shade in the right-hand side of my number line to show that I want all those numbers going to the right because those are all numbers that are greater than 9. That's all I was looking for in each of those examples. Be careful setting up your number line, particularly when you're dealing with negative numbers. And then really say the inequality to yourself in words. W is greater than 9, so I want numbers that are greater than 9. Be extra careful on the next couple of examples if the variable is on the right-hand side and the numbers on the left-hand side. you got to be extra careful to make sure you're shading in the correct direction on your number line. Hope that helps.